One day we can come into the lab and discover something new about how nature works, uh, really at a fundamental molecular level. That's really what drives me. Hello, my name is Dr. Lawrence Kazak. I'm an assistant professor at the Goodman Cancer Research Center in the Department of Biochemistry at McGill University. Actually, studying cancer is a very nice platform to identify novel, uh, fundamental aspects of biology. And really, this is my primary interest in, is in um, learning about um, new metabolic pathways, fundamental aspects of how metabolism can be rewired. Uh, cancer is a really good way to do that. The reason I came to uh, the Goodman Cancer Research Center in particular was its strong focus on um, small molecule mass spectrometry, which is where my research was headed at the time. So obesity is not only a North American problem, it's actually a global problem. There's an inflection point right now with over 2 billion individuals that are either overweight or obese. And it's becoming well appreciated that obesity predisposes to cancer. So my research is primarily focused in two areas. So we actually indirectly uh, study cancer and directly study cancer. So indirectly we study actually adipocytes and a particular form of adipose tissue called brown adipose tissue. And mitochondria conduct a form of uh, energy expenditure called thermogenesis. And we think that by targeting thermogenesis, by activating it, we can cause uh, the organism uh, to consume more energy and thus ameliorate obesity. And obesity is a huge uh, determinant of cancer is becoming realized. So indirectly, we're affecting cancer by treating obesity. We have collaborations that we initiated back in, in Boston at the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. Uh, we have collaborations at the Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston as well, the University of Copenhagen, and we're starting to initiate uh, collaborations here locally. So to me, a successful career in science uh, is really to make fundamental uh, important breakthroughs, but also to educate the next generation of scientists. So people that come through my lab, what I hope for them is that they'll want to pursue a career in science and have their own labs and, and uh, kind of pay it forward. And I think that's, uh, that's beautiful. Yeah.